Hi, my name is Anthony, and this is my Norse Pagan Journey. And today, I'm here to talk to you guys about something that I talk about in every single video. Every single video I talk about it. And that is finding your own way within Norse Paganism. I want to talk about it, and I want to bring it up in just one video, because I think it's a huge deal. I really do. Uh, I get a lot of messages about, you know, this isn't working. Someone told me that this is the way it has to be done, and it's not working for me. What do I do? How do I do it? Uh... So I really just want to hit a couple things about how to find your own way and it doesn't how it doesn't have to be everybody else's way. How it doesn't have to be, you know, exactly what happened or exactly how they did it. It doesn't have to be like that. It's going to be about you and how you want this to go. So without further ado, I'm going to finish this drink and then let's get started. First thing I want to really hit on is you can't believe everything that you read on the internet. You can't believe everything that, you know, certain people tell you. I'm on the internet right now. Literally, YouTube is on the internet. You can't believe everything I say. I'm just going to put that out there. I'm not going to say that I'm completely wrong on every single subject, but I'm not going to say that the next person is completely right or completely wrong on every subject either. Because guess what? It's the way that we found that it works. It's the way that we like to do things. And that's, that's how it is. I mean, there's certain little things that I do that, you know, the guy down the road who's a Norse pagan, which there isn't, I don't, that I know of, but the guy down the road might do something totally different. And guess what? I'm not going to bash on him. I'm not going to go against him for what he believes or the way he does things. And I really don't like, you know, seeing all of these people, especially on social media, it's horrible on social media. And I'm, I've kind of like distanced myself away from, you know, social media as much as I can. And I know I still use it for, for my Norse Pagan journey stuff, but the real deal is, is that I see so many times when people say, you know, I tried to do this or I tried to do that and it didn't work. And then these people are like, well, you have to do it that way. It's the way it was done. It's the way it's always been done. Blah, 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 blah. But guess what? These people are talking false because there's no, there's no written down source that tells you this is exactly how our ancestors did it. It's not for every topic, some topic there is, but I'm just saying like these people are just kind of bashing each other. And I think it's scaring a lot of people away from Norse paganism. And I really don't like it because a lot of these people are feeling they're, they're, they're feeling the call from the old gods. And then now you have these other people who've been doing it for say 10, 15, 20 years and they're scaring them away. Uh, it's, it's a love hate thing, you know, and I really wish that that part would go away. And it won't, it's going to keep happening because, you know, a lot of people these days are, it's my way or the highway and that can't be right. You know, uh, and like I said, in the very beginning of this video, I harp on this every single time about how I do it this way. And that might not be the way that you do it. And guess what? That's okay with me. That's okay. I don't care as long as we can come to a common ground. And if say we're at a ritual together, right? Say we're doing a bloat together and we can come on a common ground. I do mine my way, you do yours your way, but we can meet in the middle and do something that breaks it down into both of ours. And guess what? That could be an amazing, amazing bloat, amazing ritual. It could happen, but a lot of people don't see it that way. Another thing I wanted to hit on is that when you, when you do your research, when you, when you feel the gods, when you see them, when you see them in meditation, when you, when you talk to them, when you give an offering and you feel them, you know, take that because you had to have done something right. Even if, like I said, even if it's not the way that I do mine, right? But it worked for you, keep doing it that way. Don't just change it up because somebody or you read something or you saw on Facebook or you saw on this or you saw on that. Don't, don't let it stray you, please. Please don't let it stray you. Uh, just keep doing your research and be free to do what you wanna do. That's the best thing about this because there is not much source evidence. There isn't. There is not much source evidence that tells us you have to do this, then this, then this, then this on a bloat. Or you have to do this, then this, then this, then this on this solstice. Because if you don't, God's going to hate you. It's not going to happen. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. Uh, I feel really passionate about this. If you cannot tell, it's, it's something that I feel is 
hindering a lot of people in Norse paganism. It's something that I feel is turning a lot of people away. And there's so many people that I meet that are like, you know, I'm a new Norse pagan and I have a buddy who's Norse pagan and he does it this way, but I don't, I don't feel it. I don't feel right doing it that way. How do you do it? And I tell them how I do it. And they're like, oh, that's great. It worked. Or there's somebody who says, you know, I'm brand new. I'm trying this out. Can, I, can you give me some tips? And I give them some tips. It didn't work for them. But then they have another buddy who they tried their tips. And guess what? It worked. So that's what I'm saying. It doesn't matter. Like, just go out there. Do what you feel is right. Go out into nature. Talk to the gods. Talk to the, talk to the spirits. Talk to whoever. Talk to your ancestors. And just see what happens. You know, you could do, there's times when I do, I've done a bloat where I did it one way one time and another way this other time. And guess what? It still felt right. It still felt great. So just take the way that you do things and just put your little twist on it. I, I say that in every video, put your own little twist on it and see what happens. So the next thing I want to hit on is to just kind of make a connection with the gods, make, make a relationship with the gods. Kind of get in there and talk to them and just see what you can see what you can find out, see what you can do. Do your research and see how you can figure out how you want to worship that god or that goddess. Now a lot of us, you know, like I I've had my patron and matron video. Uh we I have, you know, a couple that I do regularly worship, regularly talk to, stuff like that. But there are some where it's like randomly like, oh man, like for some reason, I'm just feeling Balder, Balder right now, and I want to talk to Balder. That's it, you know? Like, I barely ever talk to Balder, but, like, right now I feel it. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's little things like that. You don't have to have patrons and matrons. People online will say you do. People online will say you don't. It's up to you, you know? That's what I'm trying to get at with this video is that every – a lot of this is up to you. Uh, a lot of books that I've read, you know, a lot of books I've read that just say, hey, this is the way that this says to do it. But you can put your own little twist on it. And, and I love that. I love reading books like that. I love reading books that tell you, hey, you can do it this way. But you know what? You should probably put a little twist on it because guess what? That's going to make everything so much better. It will. I promise. Uh, another thing I want to harp on is to just be you. Be you. Do you. Be you, talk to your ancestors, talk to the God that you are feeling at that instant, and it will be fine. It will be fine. Find your own path. Find your own way of research. Find your own way of meditation. Find your own way of doing a bloat. Find your own way of doing anything, anything within this faith. Find your own way of doing it. It will help. I found my own way of doing a bloat. I read like 20 different websites, pulled little things from them, read like 10 different books, pulled different things from them before I did my first bloat. And guess what? I don't do it just like any of them. I don't. I made my own path and made my own journey and started doing my bloats that way, the way that I like to do it. Yeah, I venture away from them still. Like I, when I do a bloat now, I don't do it exactly the same way I first did it. I don't do it exactly the same way I did the second time. That's what I'm trying to get at. Just kind of make your own path, make your own way of doing things. And if you don't understand something, ask somebody. We're in this together. Really, we are all in this together. We can do this so many different ways. We can do this so many different things. And if like you're reading something and you just aren't getting it from every source that you're reading and you're just not, you can't figure out how you want to do it, maybe ask some people, like real life human beings that aren't, you know, something from a website. Yeah, some human being wrote it, but ask somebody, you know, if you don't have anybody to ask, message me, I promise. And if I don't have the answer, I'm going to point you in the right direction so that you can get the answer. I promise you that. So that's the thing. We're in this together. We can learn together. That's what I want to do. I want to learn with you guys. I don't know everything. I've told you before, I'm not the know-all be-all. I'm not the, I don't know everything about this at all. But guess what? I'm still learning. I've read books two, three times, some of them. You know, and I'm still reading books. I'm still reading online. I still get online and do research. I still go in the book and dive in. I still read, you know, the Eddas. I still read the Havamal. I still do all these things. I don't just stop because I've already read it once. You know, I've picked up so many different things every single time. And that's what I'm trying to get at is just keep doing your research. I say that as well in every video. Just keep doing your research. And I promise that if you do your research, if you do your research into not just the lore, but also into the history of your ancestors or the history of all everyone's ancestors, whatever you want to say, do your history into all of this, 
and things will start to make a little bit more sense. You will pick little things up and you'll be like, hmm, that's pretty interesting, you know? That's that's pretty cool. They did it this way. I like how this people did it and this people did it. So I'm gonna put that together and make my own something. That's literally all I'm trying to get at with this video. I'm sorry, I am very passionate about it. And also, my little drink of meat is 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 kicking in and I'm just trying to get this point across because it's really big and it's really close to my heart, this subject is. So really with with all of this video, in a nutshell, this video is just me telling you to make your own path, make your own journey, take the road less traveled on, take, do something different. I do so many things different and it's unbelievable. And I've had an amazing time on this path and I love it. And like I always say, I would not turn around and go back ever, ever, you know, it's, it's it's just an amazing thing. Please just keep your heads up. If if something's not going right, keep your head up. You know, if your if your bloat's not going correctly, keep your head up. You know, if the way your your meditation's going is not working, keep your head up. Try again. I've had a couple people talk to me on Instagram and say, "Hey, you know, I've tried meditating. I've tried doing this. I've tried doing that, and nothing's working. I'm not getting a hold of the gods." And I tell them, "Listen, maybe." these gods don't wanna work with you at that time. Maybe it's just not the right time for all of this to make sense in the puzzle of life. You gotta think about it like that. You can't just give up because something's not working. Forge your own path. Don't do it the way I tell you to do it every single thing. You know, a lot of my things work for me, but they might not work for you. So go ahead, forge your own path. Make your own path. Kick the leaves, make your own path, and I promise it will be worth it in the end, okay? I promise. So with that being said, that's, that's all I'm going to say about this. I know I've rambled on a lot, and it's just because I'm so passionate about it, and I did all of this off the top of my head because it's something that I feel passionate about, and I feel like when it's something that I am passionate about, like super passionate about, I can't write it down and just read it out of a book or I can't have it typed up in the phone and just read it off of the phone or take notes, you know, have little uh, cues of what to say. I can't do that when it's something I'm passionate about. I'm very passionate about everyone making their own path. I'm very, very passionate about that. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, my Norse Paganism for Beginners video is almost at 12,000, I think. It's like 11,500, maybe 600, I can't remember. Uh, I have five videos that have hit a thousand views. Uh, it's it's amazing, and I just thank you guys so much for it. Uh, it's 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 humbling. I thank you. Uh, if you guys have anything you guys want to know, learn about, let me know. I'll make videos about it. I will do the research. I will make the videos about it. Just let me know. I promise. Uh, you can hit me up on here uh, on the comments here. You can hit me up on. Instagram at my North Bacon Journey. You can hit me up on Facebook at my North Bacon Journey. You can hit me up on email, sorry, email, and it's my North Bacon Journey at gmail.com. Uh, Discord is my North Bacon Journey. If you want to find my Discord, it's on my Instagram bio. You can find it in there. Uh, we have great conversations in the Discord, uh, absolutely free. It's it's amazing. We have some great we have some great conversations. We have some great people. Uh, just recently, somebody started doing uh, blacksmithing, so that's pretty cool. Uh, probably gonna end up buying some from them. But all in all, I just want to say thank you guys so much. Uh, if you can hit the like and subscribe button, so we can get this out to as many people as possible, so that my goal of helping at least one person on their journey can be fulfilled. That's all I'm asking. So that's all I'm gonna say today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, the next video, I promise, will be more put together. Uh, this was a video that I wasn't going to make right away. And then uh, something happened. I read on the internet or I read on Facebook. Something happened. And I I took it and it's what I wanted to talk about. So, guys, thanks again for watching. Uh, but my name is Anthony and this is my Norse Pagan Journey.